YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how you can be making a ton of coins today on Friday with Team of the Year. I'm gonna be giving you guys filters. I'm gonna show you how to use the filters, when to be using the filters, and we're also gonna do a little market update and take a peek at some leaks for Team of the Year. But before we get into all that, we gotta talk about content today on Thursday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Thursday was meh, meh, but real quick. Today on Thursday was great. Apologies for this video being late. Um, your boy won a cup today. I'm in a men's league. Um, we had playoffs. Playoffs go. You go into the final. We won 3-1. Then we won 4-1. We got the champion long sleeve and uh lifted a cup today so apologies for the video being late but i am a uh champion i got more trophies than harry kane so um i think i deserve ballon d'or or a team of the year card okay had to share that had to slight flex slight flex okay let's get into content so um we'll get into fodder and everything in a little bit because i know a lot of you guys have questions about that tough really really tough week a lot of profit to be made but just disappointing week because we were expecting way more way more very disappointing from ea but uh we'll get into that in a little bit so content drop microphones on yes we're good to go okay um content we got obviously you know keep doing your daily login we got the other icon sbc today kafu we talked about we knew these icons were coming and i told you guys with kafu you know be careful if you're buying players for your team i told you guys like tuesday wednesday we're, we're buying players for our team even today on thursday i kept saying on stream guys these cards are going to keep rising if you want players for your team just buy them even though they're up in price try to get a decent deal by players for your team but we did hold off on right backs we held off on right backs because we knew kafu was coming kafu if he is priced very well will hurt right backs on this game and that is exactly what happened this kafu sbc is ridiculous value like insane value if you guys need a right back this guy is very good in game you maybe don't need to rush to get him done if you did like the Kyle Walker Evo because Kyle Walker is also a very solid right back. But this guy is is great in game. He's below 600,000 coins. That's very cheap. If we go look at his card, I'm pretty sure his icon, I'm going to pull it up real quick. I'm pretty sure his icon before this SBC came out was 750. 750. A month ago, he was almost a mil. So really solid card. Um, top tier center back on this game, uh, not center back, right back on this game. And because of the price of his SBC being just under 600,000 coins, right backs are down. And that's exactly why we waited. Um, you can maybe buy right backs now for your team if you want to, but it is a little risky just because we saw kind of like with Maldini, center backs did somewhat stay low because he was such good value. So maybe we see something like that with Kafu, but it's up to you if you want to buy um, right backs for your team or not. Now, continuing through content, we are frozen. Awesome. Can I go past now? Okay, there we go. So, uh, Kafu came out, and then we got the other 83 plus SBC. We knew this was coming. The 83 plus times five defender. Um, these are these have been disappointing. Really disappointing. 84 overall squad, 186 minimum. Maybe 86s went up like a tiny bit, but guys, no one's really doing these SBCs. Uh, not many repeatable SBCs as well that people are completing, and so many people bought fodder fodder's not really doing good really really boring team of the year warm-up to be honest team of the year warm-up is supposed to get us hyped for team of the year give us some good sbcs to craft and it was just dull really dull like last year 84s i think went from like 2425 all the way up to 5k 85s went from i, I believe it was team of the year warm-up 5k not 5k i think it was like 8k to 15k it, it was crazy so very disappointing year for team of the year warm-up and if you didn't sell at the right times you got cooked on fodder really disappointing um but i mean that's how it is sometimes with investing if you don't take your profit when you have the profit it's it's tough i sold most of my cards thankfully yesterday we did a discord live stream by the way guys if you're in the vip trading discord um occasionally at night time like 9 10 11 12 eastern standard time at night um sometimes we do like discord live streams uh we chill I was playing co-op with some of you guys and um, we talked about the market and made some investments as well. So if you're in the VIP Discord, by the way, if you're not in the VIP Discord, all you have to do is sub to my Twitch channel to join the VIP Discord. If you have Amazon Prime, you guys can subscribe for free and join the VIP Discord for free every single month. I give trading tips, investment tips, market tips, and uh, yeah, continuing content drop. 
Uh, marquee matchups. I mean, it's it's not crazy. Marquee matchups, we've been talking about it. I would love for them to like boost rewards. These actually don't seem too bad, but they've just been very lame recently. I, I would love it if they made all the SBCs a little harder and they gave better packs. That'd be nice because it's just, it's a little dull, but the kit is kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's actually kind of a, a dope jersey, um, like camouflage or something, whatever. Uh, so that was that. Now, content drop, the rest of it is kind of interesting. We do have an objective. I will say that there's a new champs objective. You win games in foot champs you get a bunch of packs you can see right here boom 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 a lot of packs 30 wins it'll be available for two foot champs so if you can get 15 wins each foot champs you get all these and it finishes with an 83 times 10 now speaking of 83 plus times 10s guys there's an unlimited packs glitch unlimited packs unlimited coins glitch and i don't even know if it's fixed yet i don't really want to i'm not going to go into exactly how to do it to sum it up it's like you need a brand new account it needs to be a brand new account you Make a brand new account, go into the game, complete some objectives, don't claim them, back out, log back in, claim the objectives, back out, log back in, claim the objectives, and it just keeps going, and it keeps going. There is a guy, I was watching his stream, has over 1,083 plus times 10s. I think he's upwards of like probably 2,000 plus at this point. He was claiming, it's, which one is it? I think they were getting it maybe from the winter crafting upgrade. I'm not sure. Let me just go through. I don't know what objective they were doing. I think it was literally like any objective you could just claim. And uh, crazy, whatever it is, some sort of objective. You could just keep claiming and claiming and claiming. And um, it was unlimited packs. And there's some objectives that give coins. I don't know which one. I, don't, I'm, I can't find them. But you, there's objectives that you can just keep claiming. It was whatever one he was doing, it was giving him an 85 plus player pick, an 83 plus player pick, an 83 plus times 10. He kept doing it over and over and over again. So insane. Uh, I, I don't recommend doing it. It's not, you, You'd have to do it on a brand new account. So it's not going to be your main. And then they could easily just ban you. And everything you did the whole time it took for you to get all those packs and stuff, your account's then gone. Also, they could IP ban you or console ban you where your console or your internet, your IP address, no one can play the game on your ip address or your console so be very careful uh, team of the years today i mean tomorrow but technically like today now because i'm filming this so late i mean this is getting really interesting there's people that are making millions of coins doing this claiming the coins they're getting thousands of packs and it kind of sucks i feel bad for someone like matt foot trading or curtis henry because they've been saving packs for months to get over like 2,000, 3,000 packs. And you have these guys doing a glitch and in one day they've made 2,000 plus, 83 plus times 10s. Now, how is that gonna affect the market? Um, the packs are untradeable. So you're not gonna see supply on the market. It pretty much, I don't know any objective pack that's tradable. I'm pretty sure they're pretty much like all untradeable. Everything is pretty much untradeable. So you're not really gonna have to worry about supply getting added to the market, I don't think. so. Uh, seeing like a market crash during team of the year, I don't know if I would expect that because there's not supply. Now, if anything, I think you would see a market rise. That's This is if these kids don't get banned because think about it. Um, the thousand plus 83 plus times tens, I, I don't know what that situation, it, it's really, I, I don't know. It, it, it's crazy. But for the kids that are getting a crap ton of coins, they're going to go out and buy cards especially if they think they're going to get banned they're going to be trying to buy the best team they can possibly buy before they potentially get market banned or whatever it may be so if that's the case a big injection of coins onto the game the buying power increases you're going to see stuff go up in price actually so i mean everything's already rising i've told you guys to buy your team we've talked about this buy your team buy your team buy your team I've talked about this in Mbappe. He's been four mil. I said he probably goes to six mil. We bought this Van Dyke. We said 550. I ended up getting mine for 565. He's 650. I think the coin injection onto the game, you're going to see stuff go up in price. We're looking at this Neymar 26. He's already 28. Um, stuff's rising, guys, and it's probably going to keep rising. If you didn't buy yet, I mean, at this point, you might want to just wait till tomorrow on Friday and, and kind of just trade. The, we talked about this Hansen yesterday, 460. She's 545. This Hansen was 800K. We were looking at her 820, 830, 840, even 850. She's 980. I wouldn't be surprised if this card goes 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4, even 1.5 million coins in a few weeks. I would not be surprised. So I do think there's still room for these cards to rise, but like she's up 200,000 coins basically from her low. So 
it's up to you if you still want to buy but with the massive coin injection like i said if anything the market would be rising so that's good for us if you did buy players for your team i bought a couple more cards by the way i bought radioactive messy i wanted to get him for below one one but I, I didn't sell i didn't buy last night i should have bought last night after i sold my um my 84s but i bought for one one eight and he's like one two five so i hope he rises a lot last year he doubled he doubled when his team of the year came out you guys know i got mbappe for 2.6 mil i got van dyke for 565 and i bought a couple other cards actually which we'll talk about i bought rodman i think rodman's an interesting card and i think she has a lot of potential and i also bought alfonso davies 396 i hope team of the year honorable mention wise there's nothing maybe he gets a new card i'm hoping nothing like that happens so i got to be careful and i need to watch leaks but he's already 440 so I'm making, I mean, what, almost 40,000 coins on this card already. Um, I want to talk about Rodman, though. There's a leak. We'll, we'll get into it later in this video. Alex Morgan, she's back up in price, man. She was down at almost 70K. You can see right here, she went up when the leak came out to 80, dropped down to like 73. I bought in on that low. I actually got her at 66 or 68. Um, I think this card has a lot of potential. It, this is a gamble. This one's a gamble. But it would pay off massively it's basically nwsl not i guess you could say not the craziest league if they make alex morgan's sbc really good which they very well could we, we've seen we saw what they did with megan rapino we saw what they did with megan rapino this girl is four star skills five star week but she has finesse play style plus it has to be better than this card so let's say like plus three in every stat if they're if they're generous and give her 90 pace 90 plus shooting this card could be juiced and if it's decent value we saw megan rapino you know might not like her but her card was ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so and she was really good value if we see alex morgan's sbc be very well priced links to her will do really good and this is really one of the only links if we're being honest because if we look at nwsl i would look at uh usa like a direct link united states or her team and there's really no one on her team so you'd have to look at uh united states nwsl usa you could maybe do uh smith maybe she's mainly a striker though if her main position was right wing i'd say 100 but the fact that she's a striker morgan would be a striker little sketch so really you look at it the only usa player that's decent that i would actually use is is this rodman so i like that um it, it all depends on how well alex morgan is priced though completely depends on that so that's that um fodder's down let's get into fodder and then we'll go into our filters so uh fodder's down guys unfortunate uh SBC is really boring team of the year warm up and so many people have just been selling so with everybody selling they're all coming down and we were talking about this in the discord last night um we were saying we need to like just keep selling these cards keep selling these cards because tomorrow on Thursday there's a good chance this defender SBC is not even going to be that special and everything just kind of goes down in price because everybody will start listing on Thursday so I last night I think I sold like 1500 I sold almost all of my 84s last night. I had like 400, maybe, no, I think it was less than that because I had a lot of gold commons. I probably had like three to 400 84s that I had to sell today, this morning, which was tough because you can see right here, 84s down massively. Really unfortunate if you didn't start selling yesterday. We said sell day, Wednesday, Thursday. I was thinking Thursday would do better, but with the SBCs we're getting, they, they're just garbage. Um, 85s are down quite a bit as well. And I mean, that one probably should have sold same with the 86 and the 87s because there were no high rated sbcs coming out we knew that um <clears throat> unfortunate really tough uh you don't want to hold these though because going into friday it's team of the year there's going to be so many packs open we've seen those 84 plus times tens and how much 84s come down when those 84 times tens comes out those 84 times tens are going to come out again and they're going to sell out so there's going to be so much supply on 84s. You guys, trust me, don't hold stuff into content drop. Just sell it. Even if you have a loss, just just, just move. Move on. You got to understand sometimes on this game when to move on. Like I had to sell three to 400 84s today for 2,000 coins. It's It sucked. It definitely sucked. I mean, if I could have sold them all when they were at their peak at 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, I would have loved that. But unfortunately, you know, you can't think in hindsight all the time. It is what it is. Everyone bought fodder. SBC sucked. And um, 
it stinks but we move on we're gonna make our coins back don't worry about it as long as you make more coins than you lose that is all that matters let's talk about team of the weeks we talked about team of the weeks guys uh they don't they won't crash because the 83 times 10 is out it, it, it's out and the team of the week player pick is expensive so team of the weeks geez they're actually right back up in price so team of the weeks are 28.5 right back at the price that i sold mine at um i wouldn't be surprised if you guys still have team of the weeks i'm gonna say this hold your team of the weeks into content drop tomorrow don't hold them into content like before content drop see if they go up in price maybe a leak comes out and it's like hey this big SBC is coming out it's going to require team of the weeks if you start to see team of the weeks rise a lot that means there's probably a leak maybe sell into that rise be careful maybe sell into that rise um or i would say if you want to gamble till after content drop go for it but that's that's ballsy if there's no team of the week requirement tomorrow after content drop these team of the weeks it's doomsday it's r.i.p we'll, we'll hold a funeral for people that held team of the weeks because it's going to get ugly but if there is a requirement it'll be fine uh sbcs that could come out i know there's an icon that's leaked i wouldn't expect that on friday they usually come on sunday um 85 plus times three attacker that could come out and that last year required two team of the weeks minimum i think it was two team of the weeks minimum and 287s minimum it was crazy so we'll see what the requirements are for that but um definitely if you have team of the week still i still have a bunch in my club like i sold all the team of the weeks on my transfer list but the ones in my club i still have and i am holding these team of the weeks i'm gonna wait till right before content drop and then i'll make my decision um i mean if they go back up to like 30k that's that's very close to breaking even so i mean we talked about it 83 plus times 10 refreshing every day they won't crash from 31 30k 32 down to 28.5 it sucks, but it's not a crash. That's like a 10% drop. So unfortunate, but that's that with team of the weeks. And um, we talked about meta players rising. We bought our teams. Simple as that. Now let's get into coins, guys. If you lost coins, listen up. If you made it to this part of the video, I know I ramble on about content drop and the market updates. Some of you guys don't like that, but like I got to do that because some people weren't on the game at content. They didn't know about the unlimited packs glitch. They didn't know about the new champs objective. They don't know what to do with their fodder. I have to go over that. Now, this is the juicy part, guys. Where are you going to make coins? How are you going to make coins? I'm telling you guys right now, today, Friday, tomorrow, Friday. Boys, join the stream if you need help. But it's very straightforward. Think about it. There are going to be so many packs open tomorrow on Friday. Team of the year starts. You're going to have Mbappe, Hansen, uh, Holland, Messi. I don't know who the other attackers are. Sam Kerr. Is it Smith? Sophia Smith? A lot of attackers so a lot of people are going to open their save packs but the lightning rounds as well so much supply guys when there's a lot of supply so many packs are being opened bids just hop on bids also there's flips now flips shadow hunter just subscribe first time primer look at that boom thank you appreciate the sub man guys you can sub for free twitch prime amazon prime join the vip discord for free that's what's up um whenever there's a lot of bids crazy supply really easy to get deals uh, you can flip cards like team of the year cards might get really cheap. They might get really cheap because of all the supply that comes through and then they rebound. We've seen crazy rises before with that, but those are risky. I'm not going to really call anything out right now with that. You'd have to be in the stream. And if it looks like something's low, I'll call it out. But if we're being honest, guys, it's team of the year attackers. And I don't even know what the cheapest team of the year attacker is going to be. It, the attackers are always the most expensive. So if we're being honest, thinking about how many coins you guys have probably broke, won't be able to afford them anyway so let's move on from that bids guys i'll give you guys bidding filters um now when you bid you have to wait an hour after content drop don't be saying teddy these bids are crappy 30 minutes after content drop guess what if people open packs at content drop 1 p.m eastern standard time is content drop if you're opening packs you have to wait an hour for those bids to pop up so 1 p.m packs start getting opened two o'clock and on an hour after content drop you wait a few minutes so like 205 203 204 that's when the bids start to get good now you can win 83s probably on bid for min price this is what your filter would be don't do it not even worth it there's going to be so much profit elsewhere on other cards you want to go for the the more higher rated stuff like the last time bids were crazy i think was when the 84 times 10 first came out and we were bidding on 86 overall cards we were getting them for min price their min price is 3600 coins i was winning half of the 86s on bid for 3600 coins and i made over 500k in an hour hour and a half over 500k 
And we might have a day like that tomorrow, today on Friday. So filters, let's look. 83s, obviously, if you were getting for 850, is decent, is not bad. But let's up it a little bit. 84s, this is what your 84 overall filter will be. Guys, it's really simple. If you can't tell, you just got to go on Flippin and look at what the min price is on cards. 84s, their min price is 1,100 coins. Boom. So what do we do? We go here and look, all right, min price 1,100, max price 1,200. And there's going to be so much. And what you're going to do is search... And then you're just going to bid. It, it, obviously, the filter's not working right now because it's late at night. There's not a lot of packs. But you'd be looking. If if the supply is right, you see a bunch of packs being open. It should just be 84s, 84s for pages under a minute. And you just bid, 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 bid until, it, until you get an error. And then go to your transfer targets. And then just keep trying to bid and get them for cheap. That's basically what you're going to be doing with these filters. That's it, guys. You'll get so many deals. Just keep bidding and bidding and bidding. And if you get transfer timed out, if the game stops you from bidding, won't let you bid anymore. If you are on next gen, you can switch consoles. So I can go from the PS5 version to the PS4 version, or you can go to the web app. You can go to the companion app and keep bidding. So that is the 84 overall filter. You're going to be able to get these for 1100 coins, 1200 coins tomorrow. Now it depends on what lightning rounds come out as well. Maybe they aren't good in the first hour. Whenever the 84 plus times 10 comes out, that is when bids on 84s are absolutely nuts. When that 84 plus times 10 SBC uh, pack comes out, an hour after that, 84, 85, 86 rated bids are absolutely insane. So I'm telling you guys, hop on bids. Now, the 86 overall filter is going to look something like this. I'd go 3639 and then just make the min by now 1025 because if you look at 86s, their min by now is above 10k. So, you got to go min by now 1025 and we hit search right here and boom. So, 3639 1025 84s 1100 1200 99 10k. These are your filters. There you go. You're going to get a bunch of 86s popping up and hopefully you can get a bunch of these for cheap tomorrow. And then another one I would do is this one is like a mass filter. So I'd go three, six, maybe six, two. And this should give you 86, 87, and I believe 88. So let me go check the start price of 88s real quick. 88 start price, I think is six, one. Yeah, it's 6-1. So if you do 6-2, that's going to give you three different ratings and just go through and go nuts on bids. And you should be able to get a ton of deals. Those are your bidding filters, guys. I'm telling you, it should do really good. Um, and, and, and that's that. Just search and bid and bid and bid and bid. I'll be live. If you have any questions, join the Twitch live stream. I'll be live pretty much all day tomorrow. And um, you don't even have to just do this with, with fodder. You can also do it with special cards that are in packs um team of the weeks guys if team of the weeks no team of the week requirement and a bunch of people are trying to get out of their team of the weeks dude whenever team of the week start to get panic sold the bids are nuts absolutely insane bids on team of the weeks an hour after content drop if there's no crazy requirement you'll probably be getting these cards on bid for like 11k 12k 13k 14k that's why my loss on team of the weeks isn't that bad when I sold that 28.5 because every time people were panicking Tim of the Weeks, I would get on bids and I was winning Tim of the Weeks for 11K, 16K, 18K. I'm sure, I, I think I still have one in my club that I got for really cheap. I think the, I sent him to my club, I think. Is it the Portugal guy? I want to see if he's in here. Was it this one? No, 32. I just want to see. Maybe not. Check one more page. One more page. Let's see. 33, 33, 31. 29 nah nothing crazy on these ones one more page one more page last one no no good deals i must have sold them all they were probably on my transfer list because i sold 100 team of the weeks so that's that with bidding guys i'm telling you guys bids it's as simple as that uh, i'll be bidding all day tomorrow just hop on bids you should make a ton of coins <clears throat> i'm hoping it's really good should be a lot of pack supply so that's that um what else do we have uh, we went over fodder filter, how the bids work. Team of the week bids should be good. Maybe team of the year flips if they get low. Now let's go to leaks real quick. Heading over to the leaks. Boom, 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 boom. Rapido, rapido, rapido. A uh, lot of stuff. A crap load of stuff got leaked. I'm going to scroll as low as I can and just kind of go through them. 12 man votes started. So 12 man votes. Um, I, I want to get everything I can possibly get because there's just so much. So much got leaked. I mean, it's a lot to take in so we know saw was getting an sbc dante center back objective we know the full team of the year already but the stats are out so let's go take a peek at the stats now jaka's getting an objective that's going to be really cool bruno fernandez 
SBC, center attacking mid Premier League. If you guys bought Varon, probably solid because it'll link to this card. Uh, so there's Bruno Fernandez. <clears throat> there's the glitch. People are getting literally thousands of 83 plus times 10 packs. It's it's insane. Um, team of the Year attackers. This is what's going to be in packs tomorrow. Save your packs for the full team, guys. Just wait. Uh, what do we got? Messi. These are confirmed stats, boys. These are all confirmed stats. Messi looks awesome. I'm hoping he's I'm hoping he's gonna be ridiculously expensive because if he is, his radioactive will fly. So there's Messi. Is that the dynamic image as well? Oh my god, it's confirmed. That dynamic image is disgusting. I'm packing that card. Uh speaking of this, they're doing an MLS team of the year uh upgrade pack, by the way. So it's MLS and NWSL. Going to be really interesting. Um, hopefully. I might, I might try. I might try it to try and get messy. We'll see. Here's Mbappe. This was the loading screen. Ridiculous. This guy's going to be close to extinct, I think, easily. Uh, Hansen. Somewhat disappointing on the play styles. The, the whipped pass and the, and the Travel is not bad. Travel is not bad, but the, uh, I, I don't know. Little, I would have liked something better there. Holland. Um, it's ridiculous. It's just crazy. Mbappe already. Let's just try to go through these quick. Uh, Ronaldo, Valverde, Trent Alexander-Arnold, 12th man vote. Ronaldo's going to win. Let's be serious here. Uh, Ronaldo, team of the year incoming. Awesome. Sam Kerr, boom. Uh, cool looking card. I mean, really good stats. There you go. Uh, Sophia Smith, this card's going to be cracked. It's going to be absolutely disgusting. Uh, there's the Holland, Sophia Smith. Alex Morgan, SBC. I'm hoping she's juiced. I, I really hope it's good. Maybe that Rodman goes up. There's R9's official stats. Good looking card. It's R9. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, Jude Bellingham looks nuts. This Jude Bellingham. I, I, I could do price predictions right now, but it's going to, this video is going to be over half an hour. If I do that, probably already going to be over half an hour. Jude Bellingham is going to be, he, he was one of the best cards in the game last year. So that card's going to be nuts. Technical plus and power shot. He'll be juiced. Rodri's card looks good. There you go. Rodri's card. Boom. Uh, KDB's card. Finesse shot plus. Crazy. I think that's the incisive pass as well going to be a juiced card uh there's the jude bellingham Vieira's card looks solid putellas looks absolutely ridiculous uh, we talked about putellas her center mid card i know we said be careful with center mids guys we said be careful with center mids in this game because we have a sawa spc we have a bruno fernandez spc we have a center mid evo and a cdm evo this card came right back down in price she was we were talking about her at one five she came right back down in price earlier today and, and we were like yo uh, you buy back on this card one five six she went all the way up to one six four one five six drop back down she's back up at one seven i think that putella's team of the year is going to be like my low ball was five to six mil but my realistic guess was around eight million coins and if that's the case this card rises a shitload so hopefully uh if you bought putellas you make a ton of coins there because that card's cracked and continuing there's the putellas neymar interesting situation i think he's still staying ribery team of the year icon those are his stats awesome uh george best sbc right wings a little sketchy right there if you have right wings and this sbc comes out and he's good value you saw what happened with kafu right backs a little sketchy there uh what else do we got there's the Vieira. there's the de bruyne rodri ribery i think that is it boys Yep, that is it. Any other leaks that I have to go over? Oh, new foot champs. There's a new foot champ system for team of the year. I don't think anything has been confirmed yet. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm going to list these for 2-1. I should get lazies. Uh, team of the year leaks, the stacks, the, the stats on them. Now, what are we getting tomorrow? Tomorrow, Friday, team of the year, team of the year attackers. Maybe we get the 85 plus attacker SBC. That could require team of the weeks. Maybe help out fodder a tiny, tiny bit. We have uh maybe the icon spc we do know i think it's like an 88 plus or 80 something plus icon spc and it includes winter wildcard icons so that will be interesting and that is it for this video guys tomorrow uh, today is going to be a great day for making coins i'm telling you guys you if you lost coins you're going to make up for it but that's it for this video guys any questions comment section down below my trading discord and my twitch live stream description down below thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you all in the next one boom relist all and peace